What's up agents, it's Chase and J Miles and we have a bit of a situation going on here in this real estate market and I want to bring some things to light in this video on what's going on in the real estate market today because this is something that a lot of you should be concerned about. I'm gonna get into what's actually happening in the market. For those of you who've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I still have a real estate team. We're out here helping people buy and sell homes every single day and so we're, those those people who are on the front lines and actually seeing what's happening in this market and I need to make you aware of what's going on I'm sure you're experiencing it but I'm gonna tell you how this will affect you as a real estate agent now what are you gonna get from this video why should you even care well if you work in the real estate industry you should care if you are considering buying or selling a piece of real estate you should care because all of this is relevant to the current state of the real estate market now I'm not gonna get into predictions I'm not gonna get into interest rates and all that kind of stuff this won't be that type of video but what I will get into is what's taking place on a day-to-day -day basis as a real estate agent and how it's affecting the clients what's taking place with them so those are all things that you need to be well informed about as you work in this business or as you do a transaction I don't want to scare you or anything and so just to bring the situation back down do me a favor click that like button that thumbs up button pretty please it really helps me out with the algorithms I truly appreciate it click that button right below and let's get into the current state of the real estate market I'm up on my pledge I'm decked up on blue bills and I won't stop until the cash pit they like fall leaves in a bag fill tell it out of my face if she so here's how this started out that made me want to even film a video about this and upload it I was out with some clients this past weekend and they are selling their home and they are looking for a new construction home. Now we were going from builder to builder and they weren't having very much luck. And trust me, I did my research ahead of time. These builders said that they had inventory, they, they had homes for sale. But by the time that we actually got there, they were all saying that they have wait lists of 30, 40, 50 people who are waiting to get a home in the neighborhood. This, for instance, this one builder who I called, I called them on the phone. I said, hey, do y'all have any inventory? I have some clients, they're looking for X, Y, and Z. They said, we have seven homes available. We have a wait list of 45 people. For these seven homes, there are 45 people looking to possibly get that property if they can, if one falls out. That's a long list. When that happened, I was just like, okay, this situation is serious. This is something that I need to talk about, I need to bring to light because it's affecting a lot of buyers right now. Here's the big elephant in the room. Right now, we are in a seller's market. We're in a big seller's market. So what's happening is sellers are putting their homes on the market, and I mean within hours, they're getting multiple offers. So multiple offers is when you have all of these buyers who made an offer on this property. So multiple offers is when you have all these buyers who made an offer on the property in hopes of being able to buy that property. So sellers have had to choose between 20 different offers on which one they want to go with what this does is it makes the market extremely competitive what starts happening is prices start rising and rising and rising because for example a property can be listed at 400,000 now you have 20 people trying to compete to get this property one is offering 400 another one's offering 405 another one's offering 410 and the price just keeps rising and rising and rising until it's just way higher than the market price and so this is happening left and right properties are going under contract super quick and a lot of buyers are losing out every single property they go to they're getting beat out by other people and keep in mind these people have to move they have to find a house but for sellers this is great because they are getting way more than their property is actually worth so here's the first problem we're seeing we're seeing these multiple offers drive home prices up they're driving them up higher than the homes are actually worth this is putting buyers at a disadvantage because a buyer is approved for a certain amount once that amount gets so high they no longer are approved for that house or it just maxes them out so now they're back to ground zero with the home prices rising the way that they are people are literally having to settle for just 
anything they can get, which is a very uncomfortable position to be in. So that's one way buyers are getting beat out. The next way is people are putting down so much cash on these homes. If they don't put down the cash on the sales price, they're probably putting down a huge down payment or they're putting down so much earnest money that it just makes it hard to compete for a lot of people. Cash offers are winning over all of these offers. So if you're getting a mortgage or a home loan or something like that, and you're competing against someone who's willing to pay the full amount of the home in cash, you're going to now, if you're a real estate agent and you're representing a cash buyer, you're in a good place because they can just roll in there, drop $500,000 and buy that house. A majority of buyers out there don't have that kind of money. They're not spending that amount of money on a property in cash. Okay, so it makes it very difficult for people who need to get a mortgage and who are trying to finance a property, which is like the common everyday buyer like you and I. Now, one thing when you get a mortgage on a property, something has to be done called an appraisal, right? And what an appraisal is, someone goes out there and they evaluate all the properties that have sold, they evaluate the condition of the property and they say, okay, this property is worth X amount of dollars. So let's just say you go out there, you get under contract for a property and your appraisal says, Says that your property is worth four hundred and twenty thousand dollars well you can be under contract for something that's four hundred and fifty thousand the bank is only going to lend you four hundred and twenty thousand dollars so what does that mean it means that if you still want to get that property you need to bring that extra money in cash so you need to bring that difference between the 450 and the 420 in cash this is another situation where a lot of people, they don't have that amount of cash laying around. They still have to put their down payment down. They still have to get their inspections and all that kind of stuff. And you want them to make up that difference. So what we're seeing a lot in the market is people are waiving the appraisals. A lot of people are sending contracts and they're saying, we don't care what that appraisal comes back at. We will pay whatever has to be paid just to get the property. Think about how competitive this is making it. This is making it nearly impossible possible for people who don't have a lot of money just laying around to get a home. A lot of the home prices are being driven up, right? Just through these contracts, but those market values are still staying where they were, okay? So a house can be listed for $200,000 and worth 200,000, but if you're under contract for 250,000 just because you've been competing, you're at a disadvantage because you're paying an inflated price that's not even the market value. And unless you waive that appraisal and say, I will make it the market value and bring that extra money, you're missing out again. You're gonna lose on that property. And it sucks, especially when you've been competing with other buyers who do have that kind of money. You know, one other thing that's happening, especially here in Texas, we have a lot of people moving from California, from New York, all those different places. They're all trying to move here to Texas. Before, whenever we would get a relocation client, they would fly down here, look at different properties. We'd go take them out all day on a Saturday or a Sunday, and then they would make an offer and go back home. Nowadays, mm -mm, that's not happening so much. Once that property hits the internet, a relocation client will call and say, make me an offer, sight unseen, before they've even walked the property. They don't even wanna go and look around because our market is so competitive. They will make offers on stuff before even seeing it. This blows my mind. This is how you can tell it's a very competitive market. Now, what does that mean for you as an agent, right? If you're representing buyers, you're gonna deal with all of this stuff. The best position you can be in as a real estate agent is to go out there and get listings. Go out there and get listings. Listings will give you a lot of leverage in this market. Okay, those who have the, the listings, they're winning. They're just cash and checks left and right because they're the ones getting the multiple offers. They're the ones selling the properties quickly. They're banking in this market. And so if you wanna be in that position, go out there and get listings because that is truly the survival tactic right now. Secondly, if you are not a listing agent or you just don't know how to get listings, you need to get very strong at writing competitive offers. You need to know what is gonna make your offer competitive against all the others. You should think about waving your appraisals talk to your clients about that putting down extra down payment money putting down extra option and earnest money 
putting down any and everything, waiving your inspections if you want to. I don't recommend that, but if you gotta do that, talk to your client and see if they're comfortable with doing something like that because now is go time. You have to pull out all the stops to get an offer accepted. There are so many different tactics and ways that you can do things to get an offer accepted. I train my team on them all the time and I will probably do a public training. So definitely join my mailing list if you wanna be informed of when I do that. I know I told you that I wasn't gonna speculate and predict what was gonna happen and I'm still not going to, but I wanna make you aware of the current state of things. Let me know down in the comments what you think this will lead to. Also, if you've been working in this market and experiencing dealing with multiple offers or experiencing losing out on deals and things like that let me know what's been going on with you i hope this information has been valuable hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to join me in my notification squad subscribe to this video i truly appreciate you all and i will talk to you soon